Hello everybody, this is uh, my first review ever uh, where I do a voiceover. This is Generation 1 Blaster. He is a G1 toy I recently picked up on a Whatnot stream, and uh, I really like him. So, he's pretty cool. He came out in 1985. He originally came out in Diaclone, and I'm going to show uh, all around the figure now. Here's the back, and that's actually, in Diaclone, he was originally a radio, an actual working one. That's the battery slot right there. Um, and on the front, you can see the speaker holes, which would be where uh, the audio was played from. So now, pretty much, I'm going to show off the tape deck functions of uh, Blaster here. So here we go, I'm going to show off the tape functions here. So as you can see, he's got three buttons. This one uh, opens the tape deck. On my copy, it doesn't work the best, but it's because he's a non-reissue. So you can actually put a tape in here. I don't have any of Blaster's tapes, but I'm going to put uh, Soundwave's Buzzsaw tape in here. As you can see, it fits fine, it closes, and you can actually hit the play button. If you hit stop, it releases the play button, just like on a real cassette player. So let's eject uh, Buzzsaw here and do a little size comparison with Soundwave, because he's the only other cassette player in G1. So as you can see, Blaster's a lot bigger than uh, Soundwave is. Soundwave's a lot smaller than Blaster is, but um, still, uh, they both look good in their respective modes. And that's all I have to say, so let's get Blaster into his robot mode. Alright, so now we have uh, Blaster in his robot mode. Cool little transition I did there. Obviously, the tape deck functions still work in robot mode. Um, and now, I'm just gonna get him with Soundwave here for size comparison purposes. I'm grabbing Soundwave now. Here is Soundwave, and as you can see, he is a uh, lot shorter than Blaster. Blaster is very tall because of how big his robot mode is. He's actually about nine and a half inches tall, maybe a little closer to nine inches. And uh, Soundwave here is about seven inches tall. So, I mean, they don't scale at all, but G1 was never really about scale. So I think these figures look good together. So uh, let's talk about posability. Obviously his arms can move and uh, his head is on a swivel here, as you can see. Um, it's more for transformation, but he's got a head swivel, and that's all the posability for this figure. So, pretty much to conclude this video, uh, G1 Blaster was pretty good for the first toy of Blaster ever. I don't have any other Blasters to compare him to. If you want to see more G1 videos, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you could subscribe, that would be really cool. I'd appreciate the support. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.